Are you in a slump or a rut? Has life thrown you a curveball of some kind? Well, if it hasn't, chances are that you probably just came out of a rut or you're on your way into one. Let's talk about how to get out of it. Hey everybody, my name is Elliot. My wife Tiffany and I have the great privilege of pastoring this group of people called Lifeline Church. Our mission here is to be a lifeline and help people to become lifelong followers of Jesus. I believe that no matter where you're watching from today, that God has prepared this message for you, that you're not tuning in for no reason. He's prepared something that he wants to share with you that's gonna make a difference, gonna make an impact. And I truly believe that from the bottom of my heart. As always, if you would be so kind as to like, comment, and share this content, it really goes a long way to help get the message out and let people know that the church is here for them and give them practical advice in their everyday life. We love being able to do that for people. Being in a rut or a slump can feel like you have the life force just drained out of you. When life has thrown you that curveball and you take a swing and a miss and you're like, oh my gosh, my life right now, I don't know what to do about it. What's worse is that oftentimes we can be left with the impression that it was somehow our fault and the rut or the slump that we're in is all on us and just everything about it is, is our fault or we caused it, even though oftentimes we don't cause the, the pain in our own life. Sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't and we're just left with it anyways. We all go through seasons that feel like we're the butt of every joke. We can't catch a break. And today you must know it is not just you. It's not just you that goes through seasons like this. In fact, as I speak, I suspect most of the world feels the same as you right now. Hurt, lost, lonely, and broken. To be honest, I, I feel that way too. Uh, we just had a pastor appreciation Sunday this last Sunday and tons of people said so many kind and honoring things about Tiffany and I as their lead pastors. And you would think I feel really great and I do, I feel really great about that. But have you ever noticed how you can be having a great day and it only takes one person to say one nasty thing <laughs> and that's all you can think about? <laughs> Hashtag, that's my life. I feel it too. Like, Pastor appreciates it. Everybody was so nice and kind and then it's like, this one person is like, oh gosh, and now all I can think about is like, it's like stubbing your toe. You ever stubbed your toe? Never mind, the rest of your body is perfectly fine. All you can think about is your pinky toe is going to fall off out of pain. It's usually the pain and the suffering our mind and heart gets drawn to. Not the things in life that are right, but the things in life that are wrong. And just like Clayton Kershaw, life throws unhittable curveballs all the time. So what does the Bible have to say about when problems come our way, when ruts come our way, when, when struggles come our way. Because as it turns out, curveballs are hittable. They are hittable. I'm, I'm thinking baseball right now, everybody, because it's, as I speak, game two of the World Series is tonight and the right team is winning. Come on, can I get an amen on that? Probably not. <laughs> but if you've ever played baseball, you know what it takes to hit a curveball. If you've ever done this, I'll talk about that in a moment, but if you've ever played baseball, you know that what it takes to hit a curveball is trust. It's trust. But listen to what the Bible has to say. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says this. Trust in the Lord. Everybody say, the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own, everybody say your own, or my own, understanding. So I'll say it again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on my own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, 
and he will show you which path to take. I'm going to show you how this has everything to do with the topic at hand, getting through a season of life, getting through a rut or a slump in life, getting through when life throws you that curveball. What I love about what Solomon writes here is that it destroys the wisdom of our day. And what's the wisdom of our day? The wisdom of our day says, follow your heart. Just follow your heart. <laughs> have, you, have you ever been told to follow your heart? I know I have been told to follow my heart. Trust your gut. Go with your instinct. Well, first of all, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's my gut that got me into this mess in the first place. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and for the things that are outside of my control, things like a, a, I have a sick family member or I just lost a job or any struggle that you may have been through that's not necessarily your fault. If I knew what to think, if I knew what to say, if I knew what to do, it wouldn't be much of a rut, now would it? So thanks, wisdom of the world, you don't help that much. If I knew what to do, I'd do it, but I don't. So what do I do now? That's the real question. And so what I'm offering you today is this. When you don't know what to do, Trust God knows what to do. I'm going to say that again. When you don't know what to do, trust that God knows what to do. When you don't know what to do, trust that God knows what to do. So it's the World Series right now, right? And you have to forgive my baseball references, but I'm kind of a baseball fan. What, what God forgot to give me in love for football he gave me an extra dose in love for baseball. And I played some baseball growing up, so it's near and dear to my heart. I understand it. Never played football. I played baseball. And so, you know, most people like football, but, you know, you're just going to have to track with me for a minute. But when you're standing at, in the batter's box, there's a box right by home plate and you're supposed to stand in. You ever heard of baseball? You're standing in the batter's box. And if you've ever been there and ever been thrown a curveball, what, what happens is it looks like it's coming in high, kind of just like high in the zone, and it looks so juicy and meaty. That's the best part about a curveball is like, I can hit this thing. And then at the last second, it dives out. It, whoosh, it's got so much spin on it, it's coming at you, and then zoom, it zooms down. And so you, you swing where, you th where it is, where the ball is, and then it dives out and you miss. And that's what the struggle with a curveball is. And some pitchers got a nasty curveball. It's just medium speed, nice and high in the zone, and then bam, it almost hits the dirt as you swing for the fences and drop down to your right knee, trying to follow it down to the ground. But it's too late. You missed. But if you, here's the thing, pay attention now. If you know it's a curveball, if you know it's a curveball that's coming your way, all you have to do is wait. If you've ever played baseball, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That curveball comes in, but you see it's a curveball. You know it's a curveball. And all you got to do is wait for it to start dropping a little bit. And you can hit a curveball a long way. You can go yard with a curveball. That means home run. You can hit a curveball hard if you know it's a curveball. So remember what the scripture said. Trust in the Lord. Don't lean on your own understanding. He will show you what path to take. So what, is this, what does this mean for us? Step one. Step one to getting through a slump, getting through a season of life that's hard, getting through uh, life pitching you a curveball that you feel like you don't know what to do. Step number one is this. Recognize that you have been pitched a curveball. It's that easy. Step number one is to recognize I'm in a rut. This is a tough season. You need to stand at the plate of life <laughs> and be able to say, okay, I've been pitched a curveball and I don't know where this issue is going to end. I don't know. You have to admit, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. This is a curveball. I, it might it might dip a little, it might dip a lot, but this is a curveball in life and I don't know where this issue is going to take me. The first step is to admit, I don't know. 
I don't know exactly what to do. And then right after that, just like trying to hit a curveball, we need to do this. The next step is this, to trust God with the outcome. So getting through a rut, getting through a difficult season means recognizing you're in a rut and you're in a season. And number two is trusting God without outcome. Now, this is not a cop-out. This is not a cop-out. This is wisdom. You are not copping out by just saying, I trust God with this. In seasons of hardship, struggles, and trials, there is only one thing that you can truly do. Lean into God as hard as you can muster. That's the, sol that's the solution. That is from me to you. That is a nugget of gold. The best thing you can do is when you're in a rut, when you're in a struggle, you're in a trial, you need to lean in and press into God as much as you're as much as yourself can do. Remember what the Bible says, seek his will in all you do. See, the last thing you're gonna feel like doing when you're in a slump or a rut is to be in your life group, is to go to church every Sunday, is being in prayer and being in the word every single day. But when you're in a slump, it's the only good way out. Why? Because you need to seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. He will light up the path that curveball is gonna go so that you can accommodate. And, he, and leaning into him is the only way to see that solution. Now remember, when you don't know what to do, trust that God knows what to do. When you don't know what to do, trust that God knows what to do. Be in that life, and, and to lean into Him means to be in that life group. It means to be in church every week. It means to be in prayer and be in your Bible every single day. That is how we climb out of these seasons of rut. Like a professional baseball player, if you can teach yourself to recognize a curveball and say, nope, this is a season, this is a curveball, if you can call out the fact that you're in a tough spot and learn to press into God as the immediate result of that knowledge, your life is going to get a whole lot better. You will be able to handle the challenges and trust God. You will be able to keep your composure in the face of daunting circumstances. You will be able to be a lifeline to others, showing them how to do the same. Remember, when you don't know what to do, trust that God knows what to do. I hope this advice blessed you today. Please use any links in the description to help you connect with us. You never know when your next step will be a breakthrough. And if this content helped you today, remember to like, comment, and share this post. It will go a long way in getting the word out. Let me go ahead and pray for you before we're all done today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every single person listening to the sound of my voice today. And I ask right now that they would be able to lean into you with all they can muster. Lord, that they would summon everything they can, everything they can muster. Lord, that the solution isn't found in them, but Lord, that they would understand that it's only our responsibility to lean into you and you carry us through the rest of the way. Lord, teach us how to hit the curveballs in life. Teach us how to get through the slumps and the, and the seasons. Help us to retain this wisdom out of Proverbs that, that Solomon wrote about, to trust in you with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding. Lord, I pray blessing over every single person listening to this message today. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And we'll see you again very soon.